Okay, uh, this is found on page 119 uh, in your book. And what we're going to talk about is the theory of escaping defects. So there are two grand schemes in the universe, as far as I know, uh, about how you avoid shipping bad stuff to your customers. One is the Six Sigma way. Okay? And that's what you're here learning. The other is inspection. And a lot of people rely on inspection. They think that inspection is the way to get high quality. We hope to frighten you a little bit if you believe that. Okay? Go ahead. You mean in inspection of each product? Well, just inspection as a strategy for achieving quality. Inspection's not a good strategy for achieving quality. And that's what we're going to prove here. The Six Sigma methodology, we're trying to get rid of inspection, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, here's a little something on the theory of escaping defects. And uh, if you think about it, uh, your inspection system lets through a fairly constant percentage of the bad stuff. So if your inspection system is 90% effic effective at, at sorting out the bad stuff, then 10% of what you make that's bad is going to go out to your customer. So the net of that, if you think about it for just a minute, if you look at the number of defects that you're making in your factory, okay, and again, uh, plot that on the horizontal axis, and you plot your escaping defects on the vertical axis, it's a straight line. Now, you may have a better inspection system, that's sometimes another, so you can, you can fiddle with the slope a little bit, but it's a straight line. The number of defects that get out to your customer is linearly proportional to the number of defects that you make. Is that a shocking revelation, Ryan? No, I, it, when you think about it, that makes sense, right? Okay. So uh, we're going to do a little inspection exercise here. You don't really have to close your books because this isn't in the books. But what I want you to do is I want you to pick out the sixth letter of the alphabet. And I'm going to put a slide up here. And I'll give you 60 seconds to... Uh, find the number of times that the sixth letter of the alphabet occurs um, in the slide that I put up. So your job, when I put this up, start counting. I'll, I'll give you the time and uh, just write down the number. How many times does the sixth letter occur? Everybody got that? You ready? You can pick out the random six letters you want? No, no. Oh. The sixth letter of the alphabet. Sixth. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Okay, the sixth letter of the alphabet. So count A, B, C, whatever it comes out. Uh, number six. Okay, is everybody ready? ready. We got our instructions? Okay. Uh, go. Okay, so let's report here. How, uh, how many times did you see the letter F? Because the letter F is the sixth letter of the alphabet. And we've had people count the letter D before, you know? It happens. <laughs> so, Gail, um, how, many, how many times how, did you find the letter F? 32. 32. Good for you. Okay. And Ryan? 26. 26. 35. 35. Wow. I'm impressed. Okay. I, I got the last paragraph. Okay. And uh, Steve, how many did you get? Okay. Benny? Okay. And uh, Aaron? 36. What's going on here? How come we don't agree? Everybody had their own speed of reading. Yeah? And then where's the location of the F? Where's the location of the F's? 
Uh, one of the things that trips most English speakers is that at the end of the word of, uh, F makes a V sound. And so your brain doesn't trigger on that and you'll miss those. That's pretty common. Um, we didn't all agree. We got a couple of people that got 35s. Uh, by the way, uh, you did better than most classes do. All right, I'm not going to tell you how many there in uh, there are in there. Nobody got the right answer. Over the years, I don't ever remember a case of anybody getting the right answer. What is this? Is, is this a lot like an inspection exercise? This is an inspection exercise, isn't it? What does that tell you about inspection, Ryan? Yeah. We didn't get everything. This is a pretty sharp group. You did better than most. But by and large, we didn't come up with the same number. Yeah, uh, Aaron? Would you allow the group to do one more time? Would I allow that? <laughs> Boy, have we got a group of hyper achievers in here. <laughs> well, now that we know that now the task is uh, we can Boy, it's not that we're competitive. It's just really important that we come in first, right? Okay. Reduce the time. Yeah. 60 seconds to 40 seconds or something. Oh, okay. Now you're bargaining with. Okay. The 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 teaching example. Uh, I think we've gotten what we need to. There's there's a joke in, um, uh, in the quality industry, and it's it's not really a joke. Uh, Eighty percent or excuse me, 100% inspection is 80% effective. You will never get to, to world-class quality through the door marked inspection. Now the six, six, six Sigma method, we try to get our process stable and predictable. We try to make our process capable. And then we put a control plan in place for the uh, the strong variables. Even that has some problems, but it's way, way better than inspection. It's much better to never allow a defect to happen in the first place. So here's your new phrase for the day. It is better to prepare and prevent than it is to repair and repent. <laughs>